Hey everybody, it's your girl PC in DC and I'm coming to you this Friday morning on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's by the way to you and yours. I'm coming to you this morning from Smithsonian's Museum of American History. Um, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I decided to go back through some of the analytics on my page and I wanted to see which museum was the top viewed museum on my channel. And it turns out that it was the American History Museum. Uh, about four years ago, I came and I visited an exhibit called uh, the Inaugural Gowns of the First Ladies. And so somebody out there or a group of somebody out there really, really enjoyed that. So in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I'm going to go back and revisit that again just for you, just for those of you who really enjoyed that. Um, if you plan to come to DC and you want to come to the Smithsonian Museum of American History yourself, let me give you, I think I, I meant to do that the last time, I want to show you um, a landmark uh, of exactly where we are so you'll be able to find it. So I always start by finding, looking up to see the Washington Monument first. So let me see if I can flip this around. Okay, everybody, so if you decide to come to D.C. because you want to see the inaugural gowns for yourself, this is how you get your bearings and find out which way to go. First off, look for the Washington Monument and walk towards that. There's only two museums to the far right of it. The first one all the way down at 12 o'clock, it's a brown building. That is Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture. That one was built just a couple years ago, and we're going to visit that probably sometime this summer. But to my direct right, this beige building right here, that is Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. And I believe the gowns are up on either the second or third floor. We're gonna find out in just a little bit. Let's go inside. Thank you. 